team flex, yeah? I said to you, it's a squad player because you know why? Top, top quality moments, yeah? You've got to see the defender. You've got to see where, where thing is. He's not a mobile uh, the striker, uh, the guy, De Jong. He's not a mobile striker, but what he did is clever. He, he came off him, Lindelof, yeah? And Bruno Fernandes had every right for me to shout out Lindelof because he's trying to see where he was. He was right there. You're with him. You're about two yards away from him. Look, look at him first he's of all. Well. Saka as well. Saka's to blame as well for that. But Saka, yeah, I know. Listen, listen to me. But Saka, mate, we need to talk about one Saka. I love the guy, yeah, but we need to talk about one Saka, mate. You know what? He needs competition. I don't care next season, yeah. I'll drop it me next season. I'm not, I'm, I'm on a rampage moment tonight, yeah. If he's playing like this next season, yeah, I'm telling you right now, my need to buy a right back, me. I call on this one. Yeah. Does he need competition or does he yes, need competition? Need... You don't want to realize it. It's still your player. You still have to learn. But my I don't have time to learn, mate. We are in a moment now, yeah? Let's, I'm telling you now, this summer is absolutely massive. I cannot stress it enough, mate. We need five players. I'm talking to you. Five players. Well, that's Three not starters, happen, yeah? Not Listen, I don't happen, care. I don't yeah. care. Players. You know what happened, yeah? Forget next season, mate. Forget right off next season, next season, yeah? If you're not going to sign five players. Centre-back, yeah? Absolutely paramount. Left-back. Luke Shaw is injury-prone. I don't care what Mark says. Yeah? He's injury-prone. We need a centre-second mid to, to help Bruno Fernandes, yeah? And we need a left winger to maybe help out Rashford because it's not going on right now. I don't know what happened to Rashford today, yeah? But today, again, this is Ronaldo, mate. I kept telling you right now. This is Ronaldo, yeah? And he needs to play his game. Play the way you want to play. And um, I'm just all over the place, mate. I'm just cutting, I know, mate. I know, I know, I'm just cutting, mate. Now. I mean, how are you feeling after that? Disappointed. I mean, I think it shows how important it was that we got top four. Um, we couldn't guarantee that we were going to win the Europa League and I'm glad that we got top four out of the way. But I think, obviously, we can see we need to massively improve our squad depth in order to compete in the Champions League. It's disappointed, I think, at the end of the day, it's football. If you don't take your chances and you don't defend, you're going to get punished and that's what's happened today. I don't think necessarily we played bad. I, I just don't think we were clinical. And like I said, defensively, I mean, I know a lot of people are getting on Lindelof's back about switching off for that goal. Juan Bissaka's name should be mentioned as well. And I thought Harry Maguire at times, he just went off wondering. I don't, I don't know what he's trying to do. He's trying to win the midfield headers for their goal in particular. I, I, he's just wondering. I don't know what he's doing, to be honest with you. He's out of position far too often for my liking. And he's our captain. So, said it there, mate. Defence and attack, both to blame tonight. The one job that the defence had to do, they let us down. I mean, three shots on goal, two goal in for Seville. 33 shots in two games for us. We don't score one. We've got two penalties to show for it. So there's an issue with goal scoring. There's an issue at the back, obviously. Big money needs to be spent in the summer to try and counteract this because that's like a sort of like a like a build up, like a like a starting sort of block to what's going to come next season. Sevilla are probably just bordering sort of Champions League standard, and we can't even get past that. So Champions League next season is going to be a whole different ball game. And this team has just shown that. On the big stage in the big one-off games, when you haven't got another game to go back and rectify your errors from the previous one, then we failed. It's as simple as that. Knockout games, we failed this season. You said it, three semi-finals, lost them all. And you know what? The money needs to be invested. We've all been scratching our heads, having a debate week on week. Where do we need to make the investment? Well, I think tonight showed it on a big stage, big occasion. We need another centre-back. We need another forward and probably, mate, we well, can choose one of the sides, mate. Left back and put Brendan Williams as competition for Juan Bizzacca. Or right back as Brendan Williams stays on the left with Shaw and we have some more competition for Juan Bizzacca on the right. Well, on, on that two. then, well, on that then, we're trying to get Sancho for the best part of £109 million, mm. which we pretty much know if we do have to spend that up front, that's done. pretty much a transfer kit you've done it. on one player, which would be a really weird situation to be in because as good as Sancho is, he's not going to come and fix all of the things you just said there. Your gut feeling now to finish off, Adam, then is it is the end of the season now. So he plays we do better. Every time we bring him on as a sub, we improve. I mean, wake up and smell the coffee for God's why sake. Do you think, why do you think, why do you think, Oli, what, what, I know, obviously, your feelings, but if you put yourself in Oli's shoes, what do you think from a tactical position you think that Oli sees in Fred why he's gone with him in these two, last two big games? I mean, what, what do you think it could be? I think he can only see what some of the fans see, but it's not as important as, as what they think it is. You know what I mean? He's, he can scurry about a bit quicker. That's about it. There's nothing else that he's got as an advantage over Matic. Nothing else. On the game as well, though, Rick, um, was that game... He needs more help. 
Rashford was appalling tonight. Again, I told you last week and he wasn't wearing it. I can name things that he's done tonight. One header in the second half, Flex. Oh, he just had to head it. He just had to head it down. Pogba scooped up. He just had to head it, head it out of the play. I was going mad. <laughs> Flex, Flex, if you see my videos in the garden, just kicking the ball. In the net. I promise you, I mean this faithfully. I'm 61 years old and I have never played professional football. I could head that ball to that player. Now, I mean now, not when I was a young man. <laughs> really? it's, not, it's not a joke, is it? I'm not joking, Flex. Look, look, look. If it's a yard above me head, I won't be able to reach it, obviously. He's a young man, he's fit. If you take me on a football pitch and knock a ball to my head and ask me to walk me 20 yards straight at somebody, I will edit 20 yards straight at somebody. Rick, you're not better than Rashford. I, I'm not saying... <laughs> Did I, did I just say that? Did I just say that? I'm joking. I'm joking. Did, I'm joking. did I just say that? You didn't say that. But I get what you mean, though. It was, such, a, it was such an easy thing to do. I'll get someone to kick a long ball to me. Or somebody stood there and I'll edit it to him. It is if there's players you man like right now, turn this video off and just leave. Yeah? Because let's get into it. I told you, man, last, the other game, Brandon Williams. Yeah? I've been talking about Brandon. Everyone's saying, don't criticise him. Academy, this, that, and the other. And I'm not here for a criticising players. I'm telling you that the quality is not good enough. It's not good enough. I shouldn't see players, man from Copenhagen, twisting them up. I shouldn't see that, yeah? And then Saeed brought stats to the mat. Saeed brought stats. And it had to, I almost had to humble myself. Then I'm seeing you do um, your, I see you do like an interview, James Cooper brings up the same thing. I'm worried about that left-hand side. I bro, I called Saeed, I, I called Saeed, I called Adam half-time. I said, you man, I'm worried about the wing-backs. I'm worried about the wing-backs. Aaron Wambasaka is not um, innocent by, by any means. Definitely not innocent. Yeah. He's not innocent. He's not innocent, just so you lot understand that. It's not just the, but I'm saying that you are a constant problem. I don't trust even your the, the link up with you, man. The link up with Rashford and yourself, it ain't working. Defensively, it's not working. What are you doing, bro? Do you see what I'm saying? That and his uh, post match interviews and said we need to strengthen. This is the first thing he's gone to. So is that I, hope, what he said? I haven't seen yeah, it. Yeah, we need to we need to strengthen. That was the title of the uh, of the interview on on YouTube. So he's come out and said that. And so hopefully him and Ed can really go on with a vengeance now, with a bit of pain in their hearts because that's what you need. You don't want to feel like you've achieved everything, you've achieved all your goals and things like that because we haven't. But if you had won the Europa League and you had made top four, some might think that we might have achieved all our goals. So you don't go into next season with that that pain and that you know that that hurts that you need to succeed and really go out and, and strengthen. So hopefully we can do that. But as you say, mate, I thought we were good enough today. Um, absolutely. Like, scored, we created so many chances. And listen, it should have been a penalty. I think it was on Bruno again at some point. That ref is off his nut. Best football I've seen Man United play this season. By far. Best football I've seen Man United play against a technically sound team. Best football I've seen Man United play this season. But we didn't take our chances. Football is about chances. You don't take your chances at the highest level, at the semi-finals, right? At the semi-finals, when you're going for trophies, when you're one step to get into the final, where you have to be in it to win it, the trophies. If you don't take your chances, and at the back, if the concentration is not there, at the key moments, I called it. I'm watching it with people, and I said, he's going to whip that ball in. Are we ready in the middle? Four against two. The guy who's crossing the ball, three defenders in the box. Three defenders in the box. No concentration. No concentration. At the highest level, this is, it's in, it is that little bit of know-how. And the worst 